this studio where I'm sitting is not real. I'm actually sitting in my bedroom. This scene has multiple generated layers stacked on top of each other to achieve this effect. All this is possible because of Photoshop's new generative fill. Adobe just launched generative fill in Adobe Photoshop 2024 and the possibilities are endless. You can get any look that you want. Maybe a bike on your left, a painting on the wall or even a chopper on the right. You can use it to get a medium, a wide and even an ultra wide shot. You can use it to remove unwanted objects, convert your vertical videos to horizontal videos, convert a boring scene to an exciting studio. It can also be used to merge two images. Plus it's a money saver as you don't need to buy expensive props or rent a fancy studio. All you need is a tripod, a camera and good lighting. After that, open the clip in Premiere Pro, export a still frame Open that still frame in Photoshop, select the area you want to generate a new object in, write a good prompt and that's it. Open that image again in Premiere Pro and stack it on top of each other. Using this, the possibilities are endless. The only limitation is your imagination. We are just scratching the surface with this tool and still discovering ways to use it. In this video, I'll talk you through all the uses and benefits and also the limitation of this tool. I'll also show you how people are making money using this tool. So starting with benefits, you can add, extend or remove content from an image using simple text prompts. For example, I don't like the curtain at the back. I can just go to Photoshop, select the area and click on generate and it will remove it for me. Another example is I can have a plant here or maybe a coffee cup or maybe some books. But you have to understand that it doesn't always get it right. Sometimes it can get confused and you have to put a really detailed prompt to get it right and also go through multiple options. The results can look really fake and unnatural at times so it's very important that you have a good lighting and also that the camera is on a tripod so the objects don't move around. So now coming to generative fill for videos, it does not really work for moving videos as of now. To get a good result, you would have to keep your camera on a tripod. Also, you should not use it for moving objects and moving body parts. Yeah. There's a simple camera movement in the shot. You can use Adobe After Effects to track the fill. But yeah, again, it's not very convenient. Right now, generative fill for videos is not very convenient as you would have to generate it in Photoshop, then stack it all together in Premiere Pro and also track it in After Effects. But Adobe is working on generative fill for videos right now and maybe in a couple of years, it will be integrated inside of Premiere Pro, which will make it really convenient. So in the next couple of years, we might see a lot of innovation in this field. Another thing to really sell this effect in videos, I would suggest adding a camera zoom in along with sound effects, which will help it look professional. So now let's talk about how you can use this tool in your day to day projects and make money from it. First, using it to create product images and photo manipulation. This tool makes it very easy for you to create beautiful product videos and also manipulate photos in just few clicks. People are already selling these services on platforms like Fiverr. This market is fairly new with a lot of opportunity. Second, you can use it to make landscape videos to vertical videos for your clients and also for yourself. So, you know, sometimes you have this landscape YouTube video which you want to post on Instagram but there is this black bar on the top and bottom so to avoid that you scale in on the video but that doesn't look very good so you can extend the top and bottom to make the scene really interesting you are not only filling in a blank space that looks bad but also adding something meaningful and attractive after that you can use it to remove unwanted objects from your videos again if the video has a camera movement you can go to after effects after generating the fill and then 3d track it to make it look natural and the last one this might be really helpful for a lot of people to create a medium wide and an ultra wide shot you can cut between all three to hook the attention of your viewers also it makes you stand out and look professional for example you might have shot your video in 1080p you can export a still frame from premiere pro open that in photoshop then change the canvas size to 8k and then slowly build up the scene once done you can import that in premiere pro and, and now you can cut between medium wide and ultra wide shots so yes the uses are endless and as i said we are yet to see the full potential of this tool clients are always looking for people who are up to date and innovative so i would really suggest that you learn this tool and use it in your videos and maybe charge some extra money for it this is a really powerful tool and it's already changing how we do things in the industry previously 
इफ यू हैड टू क्रिएट अ सीन लाइक दिस यू वुड हैव टू हायर अ मैट पेंटर और अ प्रोफेशनल यू एफ एक्स आर्टिस्ट बट नाउ एनी वन विद अडोब फोटोशॉप कैन डू इट आर्टिफिशियल इंटेलिजेंस इज ऑलरेडी हेयर एंड इफ यू डोंट अडेप्ट क्विकली यू विल बी लेफ्ट बिहाइंड लेट मी नो इन द कमेंट इफ यू वॉन्ट मी टू मेक अ वीडियो अबाउट अदर ए आई टूल्स फॉर वीडियो एडिटर्स मेक श्योर यू लाइक दिस वीडियो एंड ऑल्सो सब्सक्राइब इफ यू फाउंड दिस कंटेंट हेल्पफुल एंड आई सी इन द नेक्स्ट वीडियो